people ask all the time, like, who are the leaders? I'm like, well, none, none of us are leaders and we're all leaders, exactly the same. without the process. The only way that you keep people involved in a movement like this is you have a process in which everyone's voice can be heard. The consensus process. In our movement, it's really important to have our means reflect the ends that we're trying to create. We want to have more representation in our government and in our economy. So in trying to create that, every decision has been made through our process of general assemblies and through our process of working groups. When there's a decision that is given to you from a bishop or a president, your investment in it usually relies on how much you profit from it, you know? Here, everybody works together to come to a decision. Because it's not top down, it can take much more time, but in the end, the decision being voted on, it's so much stronger because everyone has worked out all the little kinks to come up with the best thing that everyone can support together. And that's the beauty of direct democracy, is being able to say, okay, we need to come as a group and adjust so that everyone's on board with what's happening. Because if we leave one person out, that starts to jeopardize up the chain, leaving people out for the larger movement. Stack is the order in which people speak. So if you have something to say, you get on stack and then eventually you, what you have to say will be heard because you will be on a list that someone is very carefully keeping. Right now, for this minute, I'm actually taking stack. So basically, uh, people raise their hand, I'll come up to them, put them on stack. I got here Wednesday. I was welcomed with open arms. I just went to a facilitation training and now I'm taking stack at a GA. I want to <clears throat> actually facilitate a GA, uh, but my voice is gone because I've been a human mic for the last four days straight. All of this is overseen by a group that anyone can join called Facilitation, and they do trainings on how to be part of sharing this process in a way where it's unopinionated, allowing all the voices to be heard. But you don't have to come here to be part of this. You can start it wherever you are, which is a great thing. And yeah, this is amazing. these hand signals instead of clapping or yays and nays to avoid interruption. When you want to show support to something that you're hearing, you twinkle. Then there's, uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, but not really. And then I disagree. This, which is the point of process, when someone is getting off topic. Louder means we can't hear you. Clarifying question. If someone has a point of information, they'll throw up a finger. This is the block. If you make a block, it means you're, it's, you're so disagreeable to it that you will actually leave the movement or the working group um, if that's agreed upon. I actually stood up in front of the entire General Assembly and did block a proposal that was going through. And blocks are a serious thing. You should probably only block something once or twice in your life. The declaration of Occupy Wall Street was being discussed. So I was reading it over with my friends, who are also all South Asian, happened to be, and we were like, this isn't 
going to be something that we're going to be able to take back to our communities and say like, hey, come down here. Because we know a lot of people who are going to feel alienated by this. And it was one of the scariest moments <laughs> I've had. Because, you know, I was saying that in front of like hundreds of people who are on like my side. But it was taken on. We changed the line to something that I think reads a lot more inclusively. Now we're going to move into, now we're going to move into small breakout groups. Small breakout groups. People come to a consensus meeting in the attitude of, I want to make a decision that everybody is comfortable with. I want us to all agree on something. Because I know what it's like when somebody honors my viewpoint when it comes from an unpopular place, I rejoice in the opportunity to honor somebody else's very different viewpoint. And there have been some decisions made that maybe I don't agree with. But because I was part of the process, and because I saw how it was made, and I saw how good the intentions were, I honor the decision even if I don't agree with it. We're all good. No, no more concerns? Are there any more concerns? Okay. Um, I just want everyone to know that it's 5.06 right now. We have a lot more stuff to get through. Um, and for everyone, keep that in mind. Um, anybody else have anything to say? So, I just want to put out two points, is that once it's messy there, and it's complicated and it's slow sometimes, but you have to be willing to take that on. It's in the nuance of things and in the deep hashing out of things where everyone feels represented and heard, which is the only way that we can actually change a system, I think. an entirely different way of thinking that is more inclusive than it's working. And I believe that even if we aren't at the right place now, that using the process of consensus will bring us to the right place in the future. The process is meant. The process is meant. So you can be empowered. So you can be empowered. To go to your own communities. To go to your own communities.